Hello YouTube, it's Das Gregor, and welcome back to another Linux First Impressions. Today we are looking at Olympus Light, and I will not be keeping my video on for most of this because my first problem that I ran into when doing all of my testing was that the synchronization with Ellipse and for what I was speaking weren't working that well. It's kind of hit and miss. It seems to work really well at first, and then I just figured it drives me nuts when the synchronization is off and it's difficult to do a review that way. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this for now and minimize this. But before I go on, you'll see that I am using Record My Desktop to do this review. I ran into some problems trying to install the simple screen recorder because I could not for the life of me get FFmpeg to install or be able to find the FFmpeg development files that I would be able to use with this. Olympus Lite is a Fedora based distribution however it has its own repositories that are separate from Fedora and nothing I tried could make it so that I could use RPM Fusion or any other Vedora grouping to allow for some of that stuff to install. I was able to get things like Qt to install but simple things like FFmpeg just were not there. The other issue I have when I'm doing this uh, I tried GDK record my desktop and I could not figure a way to cancel or stop the recording so that I could continue on because as you can see there's no taskbar up or above and it was up here right above this area and as soon as I start record my desktop it disappears and I can't get it back it's a kind of a flaw that I was not happy with so we're using this it's working and I can use control C to stop it and it will of course get my video saved moving on however as I mentioned, Olympus Lite is, of course, Fedora based. This comes with Cinnamon. It has some widgets that are over here pre installed, and it kind of gives you the feel of Windows Vista in many ways with the way that the widgets look. I'm not very crazy about that, but I will admit that my first impression when I first got it going was that it did have a nice look and feel to it. The buttons are simple, very gnome-ish buttons. Um, if we hit the menu button, we can get that to pop up, and you can see that it does come with a little bit of software. Now this, like I said, is the light version, which was meant mainly for netbooks. So it's not fully functional however it does have a good look and feel it does come with its own app for application and if we pull that up so you can take a quick look at that it's nice looking it's very sharp I was actually impressed with it uh, the biggest complaint I probably have with Olympus is that it's got a nice outward appearance but underneath the quote-unquote glamour it's lacking in regular just everything else yeah. when I look at this this shows me the stuff that maybe someone who doesn't really know about Linux might want to find you know there's plenty of software things here that you can see that you can choose from but when I went in here and tried to install GCC for instance because it did not come with anything to compile with it came back that there was nothing now if you say oh it's because you're in the internet let's go back up to applications it says there's 901 applications there should be a lot more than that but if we search for GCC here nothing pops up if we search for CCP nothing pops up if we search for build we get a few things but nothing is really there now if we go you know this is kinda nice you know this is one feature I kinda like the way it 
did. I like that look. But if we get to where I really wanted to be, which was here, and we go into a new area here, I'll, that was another thing that I had a problem with. Sometimes it just seemed to be really sluggish. Now, if you do a yum search, GCC, you'll see there are some GCC applications and I have GCC C++ installed and all of these things I had to actually use yum in the command line interface to get those applications so whenever it came down to proper you know basic stuff I couldn't get it to work through the App Center it just wasn't set up that way you know however you know the update files came up as being kind of nothing there I used yum update and it found that there were problems or not problems but updated packages that were ready that needed to be put in and um, so while this is nice it looks neat it's just not very functional for someone looking for a full-fledged Linux system and so I ran into a lot of problems with that the other issue if I go on the installation was okay however I have one large complaint uh, it looked good the live the live DVD was easily put onto a USB stick to be able to be booted to during the install however it never gave me an option to set my grub ideas or uh, what I mean is it never asked me where I wanted to play scrub or whether I even wanted to install it at all and because of that it did hose this particular laptop I already had it saw Windows but I also had Gentoo installed and another uh, distro installed and this was in my guest OS partition now it found Windows and set it up inside a grub and it did not find Gentoo and it did not find my other Linux distribution and it took over of course grub and took over my master boot record without me having the option to say no I do not want that to happen don't install I already have an OS that manages my bootloading so it's not too big of an issue I can repair it later but I was upset that it didn't give me the option to fix that and luckily I can just go with that and fix it later uh, the application though look and feel for this is nice cinnamon is a well-rounded GDK interface and I do like the look and feel although I don't care for the widgets over here because it just reminds me a little too much of Windows Vista and those were some bad days having to deal with those sort of things I don't like how some of the applications don't install proper in fact I really haven't installed too much that did work correctly other than the items that were out of the box already another thing that you'll notice is while it does have things like the GIMP already installed into graphics um, it did come with of course Chromium there was no programming the QT4 information stuff is stuff that I put in there uh, cheese was there and as you could see and probably in that short amount of time that I used cheese that it was causing me some prob some issues capturing with that and then of course your typical system tools administration etc etc now one thing also it has is this category which I'm not quite sure about which are a whole bunch of other things that are not inside of the home area and these have a lot more games that are available some of these of course have advertisements put in them and some of these are not exactly free they're more like hey try me out and then you can buy me and I like it being separate from the others so that you realize that that's the case and you also have some applications like YouTube that you can pull up and now these I believe are mostly chromium um, websites that have been created to make 
web applications per se which is a nice feature that Chromium has done and I did do a demo about that at one point in time about how you could create pseudo applications for the use with Chromium. Now it does come of course to Google Docs and Google Sheets but no LibreOffice but you could install that through the application manager. There were a few quirks that I've run into other than that for instance if we bring back up this area here uh, my I should still have that available let's bring this here you'll notice that Das Gregor at and it has a really long string of numbers it never gave me a choice to name this box and you know for a newbie they probably wouldn't know how to do that but that's kinda ugly and funky this issue that you can see here no matches for AV format I was looking for it, when I was trying to install simple screen recorder of course it was failing that it did not have that AV format of course is a part of FFmpeg I couldn't get any of that to to work properly so that I could download it now I probably could have got the source for FFmpeg and installed that but I'm not going to give it that much time and effort as you can see we're still doing the the capturing here with that and that's good enough for right now for this anyway uh, the if we look at the file manager it's using of course Nemo and it looks nice it's crisp it's clean the icons look very Ubuntu to me though even though it's Fedora based and maybe that's something else completely different who knows the customizations were nice you know being able to change your background do through the simple features all all pretty nice it didn't really come with too much here except for what you'd see as stock I was kinda looking for something that might lend itself to being more what I would hope was um, Olympus oriented because I do like to get desktops that that look like or have the theme for Olympus and that is what it is of course all in all Olympus Lite hasn't been too bad a distribution I just ran into it as wanting to do much more than I felt that it could offer I think that if you're looking for a Fedora based application um, or distro you're probably better off just going with Fedora and skipping this particular flavor it may have its place out there somewhere it wasn't as a standard desktop though for a normal system that is for certain so I hope you've enjoyed this short review on Olympus Light 2.1 if it's morning evening noon or night whatever you're having I hope you enjoy it thank you for watching thank you for turning in and stay tuned for the next Linux first impressions for next week. Bye guys.